Hello, today we are going to talk about sensory re-education or how we can relearn the different sensations that may either be lost or diminished. First, you really need to understand how sensations work in our body and the variety of sensations that we have. Please click the card to understand that. A ball is coming towards me what I can do is I have to duck so it helps me to save myself or I try to touch a hot iron secondly coming back to the ball again if it's coming towards me instead of ducking I can try to catch it so my mind tells me what to do in response to the sensation then thirdly I can plan the action okay I want to throw the ball back and finally when you get involved in ball based sports you get that satisfactory feeling when you perform well. So that feel good factor, even on a daily basis, if we are hungry or we are thirsty, we drink some water, our thirst is quenched. So we can start with simple textures, rough and smooth. If the person is not able to touch that, you can actually apply them on different surfaces of the body. Going from the rough or coarse textures, you can even try a velcro to the smoother ones. A big bowl of sand or rice, any such coarse object can be taken and different objects can be placed in that to search by immersing your hand without looking. First, of course, vision can be used so that it gives you a good tactile sensation also. And then when you get the object in your hand, feel it, you can retrieve it. We can also try a warm and cold cloth training. Well, it's better to be warm rather than hot because, you know, the sensations are low and we do not want any burns to happen. There are many aspects of touch that you need to practice. First is simply when you can feel the touch. Secondly, if you can localize where the touch is. Thirdly, a touch which is constant or static but it is easier to start with the moving touch and then move on to static touch because that is more difficult to understand. Touching at two points simultaneously can be done next because it changes depending on how further closer to the center of the body you are or how away you are from it. And finally, you can try to figure out objects without looking by their shape, size, texture, how big or small they are or how heavy or light they are and try to recognize it. Graphesthesia game is excellent because if you try to write something which is a very advanced stage and you can understand what is written on your hand, on your leg maybe. Something else that can help you to understand that sensation even more is if you try to apply vibrator on the skin that you are able to feel it or not, change the frequency of the vibrator also. Try walking bare feet on different kind of surfaces or different kind of textures. Walk on the ground, walk on the mat, walk on sand, mud, grass, so that there is more sensations that you feel with your feet. Secondly, it will really help if you try to push, pull objects towards you because in that the motor activity of your weak hand also works. Also, carrying objects in your hand without looking like with a hook grasp which is usually the tight pattern that people who have had a stroke might have. So try to hook objects in your hand and see that they do not fall. Most importantly, if you are able to also release them. And of course, weight bearing activities are really beneficial. I'm going to cover weight bearing exercises also in a later video, but for now, just to understand joint position sense and movement sense really improve with that. And as final part of the video, let's talk about some compensatory techniques that will help you till your sensations become normal or near normal. Try to use as much vision as possible for your daily tasks. Secondly, try to change positions as frequently as you can so that there is no redness of skin and inspect your skin every day on a regular basis. Uniform pressure distribution is very important. So rather than thin handles, modified larger handles are better for uniform pressure distribution in the hands. I think I covered very simple ways in which you can retrain for your sensations, use compensations in the initial phases, but try to wean them off so that you can rely more on your regular natural sensations to deal in your daily life.
please like the video if it is informative for you if you need more content like this check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel ring the bell icon for notifications and we'll meet again soon